Hey man, so y'all see by the title of the video, man, story time about why I quit my second job. Now, I'm gonna get y'all straight up, I'm gonna be straight up as a job, bro. Um, uh, it really wasn't even my second job. That's the crazy thing. I had this job first before I had the job. Now the only thing is, let me get y'all a whole back story on this shit, man. So this is gonna be good. Y'all get y'all some popcorn, y'all get ready for this. So, Mayu. I can tell everything now since I don't work it no more. First thing first, why this be even became my second job? Why this even became my second job? So, uh, make a, sh make a long story short, me and one of the managers that was an associate that got, only reason why he got the management position was because he begged and cried and he got, they basically, and basically what happened was he begged and cried and said, hey, I want to be a manager, this and this. You got to take like a little test or whatever. He took that. And everything and uh what happened was the person that was over my department she was gonna bring somebody else to be a manager but the thing is she didn't want to like you know she didn't want like a fucked up person by saying hey I'm gonna bring somebody from another department to be a manager over here even though you've been begging to be a manager for the past however long so basically she made this dude a manager now mind you I'm gonna get y'all story. Dude, dude was a decent worker as an associate as an, as an associate, he was a decent worker. When he came a manager, nigga, work ethic went from right fucking here to like, to like, you could step on the shit. Like, nigga, work ethic was taller than me. Nigga, after he got the manager position, you could freaking walk over his work ethic. Like, nigga was lazy as fuck. So, basically, when, like, I, and this went on for a while. This went on for like a month or two. So, about after two, three months went by, I'm like, alright, fuck this shit, bro. I like at this like it was like it was like a situation. It was like me and one person in the back room. Mind you, uh yeah, I'm like I, said, I would break it down, but I'm not even gonna get tell her what, what the company was. If like I said, if you if you work at the company you can probably guess what I'm talking about. So the company I'm talking about well the store I'm talking about, uh basically I worked in the back room. We basically Got people's groceries or whatever. Like I said, with the corona shit going on, we basically would pick people's groceries. Uh, that's where we had pickers that do that. We had pickers that do that. Now, if you was in the back and you were supposed to unload those people's carts, pick the orders up, break them down, pay them in order, put them at the right time. It's usually like a three, four people job. Now, this particular day, it was on the me and one other person. My, this happened back... I want to say this happened back in like December. Like I said, I, I kept this story from y'all from December just because I didn't want to out of the company and I work for them with them. And I didn't want to get like, I didn't really care about getting in trouble. It's just the fact I don't, I didn't want anybody to look bad. Now, mind you, so it's me and one other person. The manager, I think, he finally, yeah, he was like, actually, he was late. He was actually supposed to be there like, I think like an hour before the situation, like like it got like it was just bad. It was just like me and one other person. We was basically doing like a four man job, but it was just me and him. And this went off like two hours. So basically, what happened was he finally gets there. Does the same last shit. He just walks, gets back there, walks around, looks around. Mind you, this nigga don't even wear a uniform, bro. He wore the same shit every single day. The same as that clothing, the same shoes, the same pants, the same shirt, the same hat, the same jacket. I don't even know, like, nigga don't even wash his clothes. Like, I don't even know how he a manager. Mind you, this man is 30 some years old. He's a manager, but don't even have his own car. Yeah, he bought a PS5. That's, that's, that should let y'all know where his mindset at, what type of manager he is. Man has a PS5, but doesn't have a car. Can't even make a... a a down payment on a car or even save up to get his car fixed. It's, yet you making management pay. Yet you don't have we don't get into that. Uh so basically dude get there, he see the number two people in the back room. He keep on look like I said it's a four man job. It's a four man job. Two people in the back room though. He get back there, say to him say, like, Hey, let me stay back here and help. He walks off. He just go walks around the store. Like I say, he gets right there, sees on the two people. Just me and that one other person. Like I said, it's a four-man job, though. Four-man job. So, 
He walks around, looks, walks around the back room, and then just walks around the store. Just start, just leave the back room, start walking around the store. I'm all right. I'm like, did he not just see someone two people back here? I'm, I'm talking, me, I'm talking to another dude that with me. I'm like, did he not see someone two people back here? And he was just like. He's like, hey, bro, I might take my break in a little bit, let you know. I'm like, first of all, I got here before you did. Uh, and I ain't took a break yet. I said, you know what? Fuck, forget this shit, bro. I said, you know what? I might just go do what he do. I might go walk around the store. Now, at the particular night, at, at the time in the back when we had a bunch of, like, stuff that needed to go back on the ship, like a bunch of returns, people that cancel orders, whatever. I said, you know what? I might go grab me a buggy. Fill up these buggy with returns, and I'm not gonna piss shit back on the shelf. I'm not standing in this back room, especially with, like I said, it's a four man job and it's two people back here. I'm not about to be standing back here doing all the fucking work while you just walk around the store and doing what the fuck you want. So I do that. Mind you, I think he was the only man. No, the I actually the supervisor by the department when she was there, but she was nowhere to be found either. Um, uh, oh no, I think at the time she was like she was a supervisor of another department also. So basically what happened was I go do my little returns, whatever. I'm walking around the store chilling. I got my AirPods and I'm listening to music, I'm vibing. I guess he get back there or somebody tells him he's like, Hey, ain't nobody back there but like one or two people that need some help. I think yeah, my homeboy actually had came he had just came yeah, my homeboy he had just clocked in probably like twenty minutes. About twenty, thirty minutes after I left the back room. So now it was two people back there. So then he come to me, he's like, he walked around the store looking for me. He finally, finally see me. He's like, hey man, uh, you can stop doing that. Um, you can stop doing that. They need you in the back. Man, I'm on the phone. <laughs> I remember I was on the phone. And I was like, I was just kind of continue having my conversation. So cool, that go by. Nah, I took my time. About 10 minutes later, I get back in the back room. Now I see my homeboy stressing out. I see he like, kind of irritated he ain't say nothing to me or whatever i said you know what let me uh i like let me fill out this bug with returns like i said i went back it was like i said it was a whole bunch of returns in the back room i'm like i'm gonna fill out this bug with more returns i'm gonna say that i'm gonna set the buggy to the side and i'm gonna help them out and then when i finish and make sure they straight then i'm gonna go back doing what i was doing so i fill the bug with returns and he come to me again he's like hey man you gotta worry about that i keep on minding my business i ain't say nothing i ain't look at dude I said, I'm about to help. I'm just ain't about to tell you I'm about to help. I'm about to, I'm about to act like I'm about to go do some other shit, but I'm really not. So then, I feel like the buggy return. Now, as I'm heading towards the door, he grabs the buggy. Like, the buggy I had returns. He grabs it. He like, man, what's, what's your issue? No, he said, what's your fucking issue? And I'm like, I like, man, I'm, I'm, like, I'm doing my job. I'm, I'm doing some work. What you doing? So then he like, oh, um... Uh, He's like, what's the problem? Uh, why you don't do what I tell you to do? I'm like, man, you don't even work your damn self. What is you talking about? You telling me to do some work? Well, you don't even do no work. And he was like, why the fuck everybody keeps saying that? I'm like, <laughs> in my head, I'm like, nigga, because it's true. If I, if you keep on saying everybody's saying it, they ain't just like, ain't nobody just making lies up on you, dog. Like, niggas don't give a fuck that much about you. Like, you don't do no work. So we get into this little match with like this little argument or whatever. And it get to a point he started calling me all type of bitches and you a hoe. And you, and I'm like, nigga, 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 thirty years old, but a nigga ain't nothing. But like I said, a nigga a fucking kid to me, bro. You a kid? Like I said, I, I ain't the biggest nigga. I'm like one fifty, one fifty five on a heavy day. He like one fifteen, one twenty. Little, little skinny little dude. I'm like, we we about to sign him. He probably like an inch taller than me, but he a kid to me, man. So dude, come to me he like, hey, uh. He like if it's an issue, he like we can either do nah. He like we can either do two, one or two things. He like we can go to the bike. Yeah, he said we can go to the back and I can write you up. Or he was like we can go outside. We can handle this. <laughs> I'm like I like I'm my y'all still on the phone. I'm like he like the dude was just say what, th what I thought he just said. I'm like dude was thought yeah. What, what you think he just said? He just said. Mind you, he yelling, scream. I'm coming. I'm nigga. I'm coming as a baby. I'm like, bet let go outside then. This nigga started running. He started. He walk. He literally paces towards the back of the of the back room. Like nigga, the door back here. What you walking back there for? And he started walking to the back. He's like, bang. That's a bet. 
let's go let's go I'm like he yelling screaming getting all this attention I like man you doing too much talking bro first of all you really had an issue with me if I know I got an issue with somebody too I want to pay his on you I, I ain't, ain't no going outside I'm in that issue right there and there because if I go outside I might be feeling a different energy like I might be by the time I get through walking outside I might not even want to fight you no more I want to handle this right here and now so then we go outside. So yeah, he just like this screaming and yelling to get everybody's attention in the back room. Mind you, it wasn't it wasn't that many people back there, but it was like a handful. But it's at the point like customers can hear it from the outside. And I guess I don't know if he was screaming and yelling trying to get somebody to stop or whatever. Or like, cause at this point, cause really in my head, I'm thinking like, bro, I don't want to lose my job. Cause this is my only source of income. Like I ain't trying to lose my job. But if it come down to it, I ain't about to let nobody disrespect me, especially another man. So he yelling and screaming. He was like, uh, he was like, yeah, man. Um, he was like, yeah, let's go outside. So we go outside, man. This nigga yelling, screaming, chirping, or whatever. So we walk down this hill. It's like a little hill that, like, cause I was like, we can do it right here in the park. Like, he's like, nah, it's cameras right here. Let's go down this little hill where the cameras can't see it. We walk down this hill. This nigga still yelling and talking. I'm like, all right, what's the issue? I stand up, square up my head. I'm like, all right, what's the issue? He's like, y'all keep talking about me. Y'all keep saying I don't do no work and this and this. He goes on talking for like another 20, 30 seconds. Now, if you know, in fight mode, a fight don't last them but 20, 30 seconds, bro. So at this point, while you said to talk, I'm ready for you. I'm waiting for him to like catch me off guard with a swing or something. But he just keep yelling, talking. He moving his hands, though. But not like he about to like punch me. He just keep yelling and screaming and moving his hands. He's like, bro, y'all keep doing this and that. Y'all keep talking about me. I'm like, I'm like, friend, what you trying to do, man? What you trying to do? He's like, what you trying to do? I'm like, did we not just walk freaking 20, 30 yards from inside the building to outside? Like, I told, I, I, by my accident, I'm telling you what I want to do. I ain't saying nothing but a handful of words. You doing all this screaming and yelling. Mind you, whole time he doing it, he keeps saying, you a hoe, you a bitch. Y'all niggas, he like, man, y'all niggas talking like bitches. Y'all acting like hoes. And I'm like, what are you trying to do? You doing, you talking, you talking big shit, but you're not doing nothing about it. But, man, long story less short. Like I said, I know this is a long last story. I'm going to get, matter of fact, I'm going to get y'all a part two. Like I said, I need this video here about, I need about 10 likes for y'all to get part two. Now, mind you. I'm finna the rest of the story. I'm finna the rest of this story though. Like I said, I can tell you this incident. Me quitting is a whole nother incident. But with this incident, so basically, he do all the talking. We sit, we at the bottom of this hill. Mind you, can't nobody see us. It's a, my homeboy standing at the top of the hill just looking, make sure don't nobody come, whatever. So as we talk, as he mind you, as he's talking, he just keeps saying, Y'all acting like hoes, y'all keep talking about me, or whatever. And I'm telling so at this point, two minutes I'm with, but I saw the eye. He ain't trying to fight me. He want to talk. I'm like, bro, if you would just do your job, niggas want to say nothing about you. He's like, man, I do do my job. Y'all don't know what's going on. I got all this pressure on me and this and this. They already trying to get me fired and this and this. I'm like, man, I, at that point, I just walked up here. i like, bro, you crying about. Now he started saying, like, the other, like, the store manager trying to get him fired and the supervisor trying to get him fired and they trying to... I'm like, all right, fam, you in, in an emotional state right now, nigga. I don't care. So I just started walking back up the hill. Mind you, he is still talking crazy. So at this point, the situation over. I don't walk off and everything. So he come racing up behind me, like, like not jogging, but I got a fast pace. Like, he's about to run up and do something. Man, so I stopped. And I'm, and I'm like looking at it. I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm like, bro, you just talking. But I, he kind of like walked up on the side of me like he's about to swing. So I'm kind of like, I'm waiting for him to say, do something. But at the same time, he just walked straight towards the door. So he walks towards the door. So as he opened the side door to get back in the bedroom, he's still yelling and screaming. Now at this point, employees don't heard the shit. Customers don't heard the shit from five, two, three minutes ago about us having this altercation in the back. So when he walks in, little does he know the supervisor right there by the department. You got customers standing by the like the entrance towards the back room. He walk in, man, fuck these niggas. These niggas hold these niggas bitches. And she literally just grabbed him, pulled to the side, and I just go back to work. Now with that being said, 
I go back to work. I literally go back. I de- I go deal with like the rest of the customers in the parking lot. So she pulls him to the side because he watches him yelling and screaming, and it's like I said, it's customers right there watching this. It watching him yelling and screaming. Yeah, he supposed to be a manager. So basically, like twenty minutes go by, like him and I, I guess him and the supervisor walk off or whatever. So as I'm uh <laughs> funny story as I'm as I'm still doing my job dispensing to other customers or whatever. I'm outside, so he walks out the side door. They tell him to go home. Now, as he, as he walks out the side door, I'm walking back inside door. He comes to me. And he's like, "Hey, uh, they they suspended me. I didn't say nothing, so don't say nothing because they don't know nothing. Just don't say nothing." Time I said, "I ain't trying to make nobody lose their job and them to get fired over this." So I'm like, at that point, I'm like, all right, cool. Like I said, you ain't do shit to me. You just you you said a bunch of shit, but she ain't do nothing. So I I I let that slide, man. So then my supervisor come get me. She's like, hey, I need you to come to the back to the little uh store manager office, or whatever. So as I'm walking in, mind you, dude said he ain't say shit. <laughs> she says, hey, I need you to write. Um, she's like, hey, you gonna get suspended, whatever. And to the invest, like I said, they had to do an investigation, whatever. I was like, you gonna get suspended. Now she like, hey, I want you to give me. She like, yeah, he got a pen, he got a piece of paper. I want you to write your side of uh, uh side of the story and what happened. Man, as she flips, like, give it. I don't, th- I don't know if she tried to do it on purpose or what, but as she flips it, like, give me a, a bunch sheet of paper. She showed this nigga had a full goddamn essay, a pack like a full essay, like. Like, I think the shit was indented and everything. Like, he, like, indented the paragraphs and everything. I'm like, this the same thing that he just said? He ain't saying that? Like, I'm like, oh, you really gave it up on me, man. You, you really. I like, I, I like, I know you just say, I know you didn't write all the shit that you just said and that you just did back there as a manager. You calling out hoes and shit. Customers right there who can bounce with the shit. I know you didn't say all that in your store. I know you probably said, I said all that shit. I'm like, oh, let me get my paper, piece of paper. Let me write my little full page and write everything down. So I wrote my incident. I wrote, like I said, whatever I just, everything I just told y'all, I wrote down on a piece of paper. Well, I summed it up on a piece of paper because I went back to, shit, that shit, I mean, you had to write that. I didn't get y'all the detail for detail of everything, yet, but I just got y'all a little short summary of what happened. But yeah, I wrote my little shit down on my piece of paper, man, on the incident what happened. So, this shit happened in December. They didn't hit me back up until, like, Man, that didn't hit me back up. Mind you, I called. First of all, I, I was like, I it probably gonna take like a month or whatever, a month. So in December, this shit happened like I want to say like early December. So then, probably like I want to say like the middle of January. Like I ain't got no text from nobody, I ain't got no call from nobody, nothing. So then I hit up. I call like the uh, HR, like headquarters of uh, of like the store. I mean, yeah. Of the store of the company, and I'm like, hey, I got suspended like a month ago. I ain't heard nothing from nobody. They said they got to do an investigation or whatever. So then all of a sudden, they look it up. They're like, hey, we ain't even got no like. They talking about the investigation. Like, I right, wish your store number, wish your username, wish your wish your uh, customer uh, name. I mean, yeah, wish your uh, employee name, whatever. Like all the other your employee uh, number or whatever. I give them all that. They're like. Bro, I know we ain't got nothing. Like, what are you talking about? We ain't got no investigation. We don't know what's going on. They said, let me be like, hey, this is what you do. You go to your, go to uh, whoever, whoever suspended you. And I was like, my store manager. And she's like, you need to go to go see them because we ain't got nothing. Like, they ain't control of that. She's like, we don't even use a situation like that. We deal with them sometimes, but more than likely, the store deals with that. I'm like, my, like I said, six, seven weeks done went by. So that's six, seven weeks without me working, no paycheck, no nothing. I'm like, this whole time, I'm thinking the investigation going on. Yet, the people that y'all said, the store, because the store manager told me, hey, HR usually handles stuff like that. Like somebody from like the main, like corporate, whatever, comes handle this stuff. But I'm on the phone with corporate, they like, bro, we don't even handle stuff like this. It's, they like, it's a very rare, rare, rare incident where we handle stuff like this. So I'm like, well, damn. I'm like, okay, so what what's going on? So I go to the uh, down uh I text my supervisor, I'm like, hey, let y'all know uh 
do you mind about you know if the store manager busy can i come up there or whatever sometime today and she like yeah i'll let her know and she like yeah you can come whatever so i come <laughs> i walk up there and we sit in the and we sit like in a little room with her and we talking and she was like yeah um she keeps on making the store like yeah if i could yeah no 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 this is what she tells me so mind you i just got off the phone with hr Probably like two like two hours ago before I come up there, with with the uh with corporate before I came up there. Tell me why she tells me she like yeah. By the way, we literally just sent over all the documents, everything. Probably like twenty minutes ago before you came. I'm like, you telling me an incident happened six seven weeks ago? You just sent it off twenty minutes ago? I thought I just got the phone with corporate two hours ago. Mind you, corporate told me they say hey, go to your store manager, ask about what's going on. If she can't, if she can't give you an explanation, call us back and we'll make a report on it. So my thinking is, this whole time after she said that, soon in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, so corporate probably just got the phone with y'all or just emailed y'all saying, hey, we had a, we had one of your employees say y'all, they got, they had this big incident happen with another manager or whatever, and apparently you ain't said nothing to us, you ain't reporting nothing, because I think they just for, forgot about it. So she was like, yeah, we just sent that over about 20 minutes ago. I'm like. You just sent over something, an incident happened six, seven weeks ago. You sent it off 20 minutes ago before I just came. Literally, like, I'm like, you do realize, I'm like, I'm like, did she not realize I got bills to pay? Like, I, that mean, I don't wait, I don't miss, at this time, I don't miss like two paychecks. I'm like, I'm like, bro, you playing? So at this point, as soon as she said that, I, I got to get another job. <laughs> Try all right, cause my thing is I know how corporate shit works. Y'all not gonna get to my goddamn little investigation to about a month. It's gonna take y'all at least a week or two to ever to get it done. Then it's gonna take y'all another two weeks to actually to report back to me. So basically, this shit happened in January. Then all of a sudden, like I said, I get it. I end up getting the interview. Uh, I did an interview at some other place, which pays. Even like I said, I end up. Like I said, I ended up getting, going back to that job, but even, and then I ended up, they ended up giving us a raise, and even with that raise, the job I'm at now still pays more. Just had to throw that out. Uh, but at the same time, I ended up getting, I ended up going to do an interview at one job. Literally the next day, they sent me an email and said, hey, you got the job. So I was like, cool, bet. The next day after that, my supervisor, she texted me, she's like, hey, you welcome to come back. Now your investigation is over with. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Uh, I, at the point I, I was like, man, I, like, I got another job that pays more. At the point, it was paying way more now. It pays a little bit more now versus what they, versus what the raise is, but it's still more. But I was like, and I and I was telling, I text her like, I wish I still had a missus. Damn, I wish I still had a missus. I forgot I deleted them, but she was basically like. Yeah, you free to come back or whatever, and uh, whatever, at any time, whatever, whenever you're free. So I was like, hey, I just thought it straight out, like, hey, I got another job. Now, on my other job, it's a set schedule. I work from these days to these days. So if I do come back, I'll be able to work on the Fridays and Saturdays. This is the only time I can work. I only work from this time, from that time, on Friday and Saturday, and that's it. And she's like, cool, that's fine, that's good. Do you want to come? And I think, I think, I think that, I think that was like a Thursday she texted me. So I was like, hey, I'm free to come back either tomorrow or Saturday or something like that. And she was like, yeah, you, that's good. That's fine with me. So yeah, man. And then the end of the story off, bro, like I said, I, y'all want to see part two of the reason why I quit? That's just the answer that happened. The, the end of the story off, the crazy thing is, bro, coming to find out. Old boy came, me and old boy came right back to the same department. Me and the manager that, that tried to fight me, that I got to the altercation with, that did all the yelling and screaming. And then on top of that, I forgot to let y'all know, prior to me even having that argument with that dude that day, the other manager and the supervisor had came me, pulled me to the office, and said, hey, do you know about the answer about the other manager saying, apparently another associate came in and said, hey, he said something inappropriate to them. So, mind you, I'm thinking, dude, fine at this point. Especially, like, after the situation happened with me and him, I'm like, oh, that was already an investigation for you. Like, that's what he was talking about when we were arguing. He was like, they trying to get me fired. 
He was like, I was like, oh, so you was already on the investigation for that. And this shit happened. Oh, you about to, they about to let you out the door. I come back. Come back to see the dude. I'm like, oh, I came back. He ain't come back. Oh, he gone. Man, the very next week I come back, he back. I'm like, I've never heard an investigation where two employees get into an argument. They both get suspended and both of them come back to the same department. I can see both of y'all come in and like, hey, you go to this department, you can stay, or both of y'all go to this department, you go to that department. But came back to the same department and everything, and it was just, I like, at this point, this goddamn company is a joke. Like a big ass, y'all a fucking joke. And then I was talking to the other man, they're like, hey, how y'all even know y'all came back? I like, like, did corporate call y'all or did the store manager call? I'm like, no. I'm like, this, when the supervisor sent me a text message saying, hey, you free to come back. And she like that's she like, so you telling me after doing a two month investigation, you got you you got conf- confirmation to come back through a text message from your supervisor personal phone number. I was like, yeah, pretty much. And she was like, oh well, I don't know. I don't, she like, I'll be honest with you, for y'all both of y'all to come back to the same department and you got a text message to come back. I don't really think they did an investigation, and me neither. But yeah, like I said, if y'all want to see. Part two is even crazier than it is. Well, some of it a little crazier than it is. But yeah, if y'all want to see part two, I'm just gonna give me like five, five likes, five likes to do it for me. I just need about five or ten. But yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Like I said, you want to see part two? Give me about five or ten likes, and I'll see y'all again.